Actually, instead, we are going to take our viewers live to Sydney. That's where the Energy Minister, Chris Bowen, and the Resources Minister, Madeleine King, are providing an update after their Cabinet meeting wrapped up. They're speaking about gas and energy. People to see there's been a lot of work uh, done by the Energy Security Board. I look forward to seeing their work being made public in the coming days. And finally, uh, over the longer term, the country has an integrated assistance plan, which is great for energy and electricity transmission, but that's what it does. I put to ministers that we needed an integrated plan, an agreement to deal with the entire transmission for infrastructure that supports green hydrogen going forward, with infrastructure that supports storage as well as transmission. And I'm very pleased that ministers agreed uh, to do that, that we will have an integrated agreement on the entire transition underway across the country. It's going to be a big piece of work. It will take uh, the work that's been done on the ISP and build on it so it becomes not just an, an electricity document but a plan for the whole country uh, for the transformation uh, to underpin the new government's policies of getting to 82 per cent renewables by 2030, uh, to assist in rewiring the nation in a very holistic way. So that was good progress last night. As I said, every step's important, no easy fixes, but making good progress and dealing with nine years of denial and delay that we have inherited. One of the things that uh, ministers did touch on last night is uh, the gas mechanism uh, and how it works. Of course, the ministers dealt with matters of joint state federal responsibility. The gas mechanism is a Commonwealth responsibility. But uh, we have been providing comments on that about uh, what a blunt instrument it is. Uh, it's not really a trigger. It's a, it's a very complicated mechanism. And my friend and colleague, Madeleine King, who's been working very closely uh, with me over recent I was going to say weeks, but it's actually only a week since we were sworn in uh, over recent days uh, that we've been dealing with this crisis. Uh, we'll have an update for you on that matter. Thanks so much, Chris. Uh, as many would know, the Australian domestic security gas uh, security mechanism, sorry, is due to expire uh, on the 1st of January next year. The, the former government, the coalition government, left us with a mechanism that is uh, uh, at its end. Uh, we have resolved today as a cabinet to make sure that mechanism remains a tool of government uh, to ensure uh, future supplies of gas in this country. Uh, and so we will move as quickly as possible to make sure that gas security mechanism for domestic supplies uh, is renewed as soon as possible uh, through regulation. At the same time, uh, we will be conducting uh, an urgent review of uh, the domestic gas security mechanism to make it actually work. Uh, as Minister Bowen has pointed out, uh, right now it is a, a long and complicated, convoluted, uh, ineffective uh, mechanism that takes a very long time uh, for it to uh, produce results. We are determined to change that and we are determined to make sure that this mechanism, as well as the other tools available to us, uh, are all on the table so that we can ensure that uh, gas supplies are appropriate, adequate and affordable for Australians uh, right across the country. We will also, and the Cabinet has also agreed, uh, to start uh, pretty much as soon as possible uh, to renegotiate the heads of agreement between the uh, gas companies and the Prime Minister who signed it uh, and this government uh, to make sure that that uh, remains on foot also as a tool of government, uh, but it will have uh, a distinctive uh, edge to it uh, brought upon by this government's uh, urgent uh, and very measured uh, response to the gas crisis. We need to have this heads of agreement renewed so that we can again, along with the domestic gas security me mechanism, ensure that there are gas supplies that are affordable, adequate for southern Australian states.